Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's ruling bloc scored a big win in Sunday's election, re-energizing his push to revise Japan's post-war pacifist constitution. The Liberal Democratic Party-led coalition uh, looks set for a so-called supermajority in the 465-member lower house. With more on what Abe's win means, Noah Ram reports. Shinzo Abe has been in office since December 2012, and the victory will bolster his chances of being Japan's longest-serving premier by serving a third term. He is now in a good position to continue his so-called Abenomics growth strategy, which calls for widespread monetary easing. More importantly, though, the prime minister would have the ammunition to overhaul the country's defense strategy and pacifist stance. He has been seeking to revise Article 9 of the Constitution to state and recognize the existence of Japan's self-defense forces amid a more hostile North Korea. The Constitution currently bans the maintenance of armed forces, and Abe's plan to change that has been widely criticized as going against Japan's pacifist post-war identity. Amendments must be approved by two-thirds of each chamber of parliament and then by a majority in a public referendum. Abe's call for a snap election had seemed to be a risky gamble amid the rising popularity of Tokyo Governor Yoriko Koike and her Conservative Party of Hope. She did not run for a lower house seat herself and failed to say whom her party would back for prime minister. The victory is also quite a U-turn for Abe, who had suffered record low approval ratings a few months ago after being dogged by scandals over suspected cronyism and a perception he had grown arrogant after nearly five years in office. Noaram, Arirang News.